YouTube, what's going on? Mike Swayman here, giving you guys another video. In today's video, I am going to dive into the three best hitting stances that you could use for your cap in regards to Diamond Dynasty, Road to the Shell, just the game in general, okay? These are the swings that I think are going to give you more perfect perfects and a lot better timing-wise in the game. But before we dive into the video, I want you guys to go ahead and smash that subscribe button, hit those bell notifications button so that you guys don't miss out for any future content on this channel or else you will go offers in the game. So I highly recommend that you just don't go over and just smash that uh, subscribe button. So I'm just saying, man, I'm just saying. But with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into our first hitting stance in the game. All right, guys, so the first hitting stance that I am going to go over with, and it's actually the one that I use now, I've noticed tremendous results with this card or with this uh, stance that everyone has probably used in the past before he kind of retired and went away. But Mike Napoli's swing is one of the best swings in the game. I love it. I think the load really helps you to time pitch is a lot better. Um, it's one of the stances that I love to personally use. Um, he does have a little bit long swing. However, he does have a good timing mechanism. So. What I mean by that is that his stride right here, it's a lot easier to time pitches because as soon as your front foot lands and your hands go back, that's usually your mechanism to swing. Usually. That's how I really time it really well in the shell. I'm not saying I'm perfect with him. You're not going to be batting a thousand. No stance is going to make you bat a thousand. But I noticed that when my leg kick comes up and my hands come with the leg and then they go back, right, that, right when I land, that's when I know I usually got to swing. And I've noticed tremendous results out of this. Um, it's something that I know that um, a lot of people have been struggling with a lot is understanding, you know, the load and everything, and how to how to time the load and how to hit the ball hard and how to hit perfect perfects. But I've noticed tremendously that Mike Napoli's swing is one of the best in the game. And I highly recommend, and he can actually do it switch. You can actually go both sides with this. So I have my guy at switch, and I'm telling you, both both sides, it works perfectly. So I highly recommend, if you guys have not yet get Mike Napoli's swing, check it out, give it a chance, and I promise you, you guys will love it tremendously. All right, guys, so the next stance that we are going to dive into, and this is the stance that actually, um, three years ago, I used to use in Diamond Dynasty, and this is the Chase Utley stance. Um, I think this stance is one of the glitchiest stances in the game, especially when you're a lefty in this stance. I've done tremendous work with Chase Utley's card in general through this swing. Um, it has a little bit of a, he has a little bit of different swing than Mike Napoli. He has a little bit of a quick swing. Um, as you can tell, he kind of like rolls over at contact and then comes over. Um, but his stride, um, his stride is one of the easiest strides to time because all you got to do is you just got to go with the load. It's like a, a, a flow, like a wave. So as soon as he, as soon as you land with that front foot, that's when you usually just just swing it. And it's a lot easier because his load has such a smooth transition that you actually time a lot of balls and you hit a lot of perfect perfects with it. Um, and obviously, if you look at his, uh, you know, his animations. When he finishes, it's one of the best animations in the game. Not saying the best. I still think Griffey's takes it all in regards to home run animations, but it's a pretty good one. Um, but I noticed that with his stride, his stride is one of the easiest things to time, and the load is actually pretty good. Um, we usually joke around a lot in my videos about the good load, uh, but I just noticed that with, the, you know, with this load, the swing type goes well with it. It's smooth. It's not raggedy. It's not hard to time. It's smooth. Um, especially with lefties, man. I noticed with lefties, especially or when I'm a lefty facing righty and Chase Sutley was at the plate, I mean, I've noticed tremendous work when he was a lefty on lefty or righty on lefty that it, it's a it's a glitchy swing and you get a lot of good perfect perfects from it. So I highly recommend you guys try out this Chase Sutley stance. Give it a go and let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the comments below, okay? All right, guys, the last and final stance. And obviously it's kind of hard because I had Soto, I have Suarez, I got Soler. There's so many great stances. But I got, fortunately, I got to do the top three. That my personal top three, and the third one has to go to Mike Trout. And here's why: every single year, Mike Trout has always had the most smoothest slash best swing in the game, and I noticed great results from it as well. Um, you know, Trout is always known for having a good kind of a stride. He has something similar to what uh, Mike Napoli has. 
So that's why I love Mike Napoli's swing so well because it kind of reminds me a little bit of Trout's, how Trout's hands come down and then back. And it's a lot easier to time. It's something that, you know, I think it's one of the easiest uh, loads to time in this game, but his transition to his swing is one of the easiest in the game. And I've noticed that you could be a little bit early or late and you still get um, some good results in regards to hitting the ball hard. Um, obviously, you know, Trout being the best card in the game, a lot of guys have that card and do damage with it. But I do remember, I do recall facing the guy the other day and he had a switch hitter. And it's actually one of the videos that I actually posted on TikTok of getting out of the bases loaded. But his cap had like four home runs with his Mike Trout stance going both ways in the box. And I got to tell you, man, this, this swing is one of the best in the games. And, you know, obviously, I don't think the animation is, is as best as you know, Griffey, but it's one of the cool ones where he puts his head down and then he just goes right to work, just starts jogging. It's one of the best ones in my opinion I like a lot, but his load and stance goes really well. I've noticed a lot of perfect perfects with this swing and so forth, and it's something that you guys could try out. So I highly recommend if you guys have not tried out Mike Trout's swing, to give it a whirl, give it a go, and see how you think, okay? All right, guys, that is it for today's video. We basically talked about the three best hitting stances in the show 22 that I personally love using for my creative player and i hope it helps you guys also in regards to choosing what particular stance helps you um but with that being said if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to smash that like button also share this video around the community if you have someone out there that is really struggling on finding which stance it's best for them have them see this video so that they can try something out and maybe help them um also comment in the comment section below on what your personal best three hitting stances are in in this game so that maybe i could try it out during any of my ranked season matches or events and so forth also if you guys can subscribe to the channel hit those bell notifications buttons so that you guys can be notified for any future content release on this channel um guys that's it for this video i wish you guys nothing but perfect perfects and pinpoint pitching and i swing man catch you guys in the next one take care